What's up guys? Welcome to this channel. The much-awaited iOS 14 Beta 4 is out. While the official version will be released in September, we can get to know it in advance. I got an iPhone X that's running on iOS 14 Beta 4. I'll show you the new home screen, the back tap, the translation app, and so on. And finally, I'll show you how to install iOS 14 Beta 4 on your iPhone. Now, let's take a look at the iOS 14 Beta 4. 1. New Home Screen Widget The most obvious change on the iOS 14 is the new home screen. iPhone now has widgets. You can see the stream was fantastic. iOS 13.6 looks old behind the iOS 14. You can add a widget by swiping right from the home screen. Go to Edit. Click this plus button, then drag it to the home screen. Here are some examples of widgets. This occupies four app icons. This occupies eight, 16. However, you still cannot put the apps anywhere you want. For example, there is no way to put the four important apps here. App Library. There's a new app library on iOS 14, which is like an app drawer containing all your apps. In other words, all the downloaded apps will be here, even if it's not on the desktop. You can also search the app by the alphabetical searchable list here. Actually, before this iOS 14, the apps you download will be placed on the desktop. If you want to remove one of them, one way is to delete it completely. The other way is to offload the app. which means that you can still see the icon on the main screen. It can be said that its data is not accessed on your phone. Click the icon when you want to use it. The app will be downloaded again. So you might think the desktop is a little messy without this app library. It will be troublesome when you want to organize the app. Many people will make small folders. At this time, it is not easy to classify and find apps. You have more choices when removing the app now. Here you can see Remove from Home Screen or Delete it. The delete is completely removed. Remove from Home Screen means removing from the desktop and putting it into the app library. Pages. And in iOS 14, you can manage apps by hiding a page. Here's a page with some apps you don't use often. Put it behind. You can remove it directly, not seeing it directly on the desktop. At the same time, the app will not be removed. It just stays in the app library. Smart Stack. Smart Stack is like pages inside the pages. There's an option, Smart Rotate, which will show you different apps at different times every day if you turn it on. You can edit the stack, changing the order to choose the one showing on the top of the widget. Don't join the main screen. If you don't want your app to be displayed on the desktop, creating too many apps, there is a choice when you download the app. You can go to the Settings home screen, choose App Library only to put the new app just into the App Library. 2. Back Tap The next feature is quite special. I guess many people will find it practical. It's the Back Tap. For example, I want to tap two times to take a screenshot, three times to go to the main screen. Just double tap, auto screenshot. Triple tap, the main screen. The way it senses is to use the sensor inside. It is quite accurate. You'll see, if I knock on the side, it will not take a screenshot. 3. Translation App Next, we will talk about the Translation App. It will be directly in your iPhone this time. You can choose different languages, translate directly on iPhone. You can turn on device mode. This part is not open by default. When you open it, it downloads your favorite language on your phone and you don't have to worry about the content you translated may be seen. Your privacy will be protected. That means the function of the translation can be integrated into Safari to translate web pages directly. I guess more content and translation apps are supported at the official version. The data stored in you can be translated in many apps. There are more new functions like QR code reader, sound recognition, sleep mode, magnifier, hearing, and so on. If you are interested in this video, please leave a thumbs up so that we can know it and make more iOS 14 videos. We have talked so many advantages of iOS 14. So, how to install it on your iPhone? Here is the way. You will need a developer account first. 
go to https colon backslash backslash developer dot apple dot com backslash download backslash scroll down to the ios 14 beta 4 choose install then go to settings dash general dash profiles restart the iPhone, you'll find there is an iOS 14 Beta 4 on the software update. Download it and install. Now you have an iPhone running on iOS 14 Beta 4. If your Apple ID is not a developer account, you will need to log out first, which requires the Apple ID password. And it also requires the screen lock password to protect your data. If you forget these passwords, iMyPhone can always solve the problem for you. And it can perfectly work on iOS 14. Here is a 10% off coupon code, EDKGAL10, for iMyPhone Lock Wiper. I will also leave it on the description. Please check if you need it. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.